This is Afro Prepper. Thursday, February 24th. Uh, Ten years ago, to the, not to the day, but to the general time, uh, my grandmother passed away, so I wanted to say I miss you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma Doe. All my friends, uh, family, and even America. Thank you for your, your condolences. <laughs> but uh, she was a great woman, and I'm sure she would uh, want me to speak my mind because she was a woman who never did not speak hers and she would tell you hey when you was messing up hey you was messing up and she would let you know so in my heart uh, i'm still beast with her grandma doe well i thought about opening this uh episode or video up with with the title of uh happy beginning of break your back at the pump day but then i was like that's a little too hard for people but then how about this one, this is made me a little softer. Happy Engineered Collapse of Society Day. <laughs> you might think it's funny, but I mean, it's meant to shock you a little bit and just get your brain working, you know? Just think about what's going on outside. You know, don't come in the house, close the garage, turn the television on, just start watching TV. Really pay attention throughout the day about th what things are going on so you can protect your family. That's really what it's all about, you know? But uh, I settled on this title, Gas, False Flags, and Oil, okay? And we've all gone to the pump over the last two weeks, and this is just such a dramatic increase in gas prices. It's ridiculous. And if you don't think it's going to translate into your food costs, you have misled yourself. I'm sorry, you might suffer from some type of normalcy bias or something like that. You need to, I don't know, maybe fall down, bump your head or something, and you might wake up. But uh, gas. Uh, biggest rise since 2008 you know over the last really two three weeks i mean this is getting ridiculous all because of libya libya tunisia saudi arabia morocco all the riots the destabilization or destabilization excuse me <laughs> of the middle east is just it's going to drive america into the ground i mean we already in the ground now but shoot we, <laughs> this is a sinkhole area then Obama gonna send everyone more sir, more troops. I mean, granted, he can't just say we just putting all American troops over there because we spread a little thin. But uh, more troops is going. Actually, they're already there because they're just chilling in the Mediterranean. But you know, gas, man. Prepare yourself, man. Fill your tank up as soon as possible, um, and and start focus on on food. I read an article out of, off of ABC uh, dot com about um, they interviewed. Some lady in retail, and she's like, oh, people are going to stop shopping now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, that's why you need to stock up now and learn and look for, for deals. Next, false flag. I don't know if anybody knows what a false flag is, but a false flag is uh, an incident that's um, used to uh, not only distract you, but also get you thinking on the opposite uh, purpose behind that particular event. Um, case in point, what's going on in Wisconsin? We all know that there's a, a group of uh, people who are not too happy. The union workers, you know, collective bargaining agreement, and not having, uh, they're not they're not seeing eye to eye about this. I am all for the union, but back in the day, union meant you get uh, quality product with good quality work. No more, obviously, you know where we get all our stuff from. If you guys, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. If you've watched any television and seen some commercials, have you noticed the amount of Chinese folks in commercials nowadays? And I'm not saying nothing about Chinese people at all. It's just a, it's, it's like a subliminal thing where they're just trying to get you used to seeing a whole bunch of Chinese people. It wasn't like that last year on the street. Not even last year was it like that. But it's, check it out. Anyway, uh, false flags. This guy was talking, the governor, he wanted, uh, he took a prank call. For, and, and he thought it was one of his best friends by the name of Scott Coke. The governor's name is uh, is uh, Scott Walker. This this guy, his who he thought was his best friend, his name is David Coke. So Governor Scott Walker and his friend uh, David Coke. But uh, he thought he was talking to him and slipped up and said, uh, "I was thinking about using some." provocateurs or putting some troublesome people amongst the protesters to give them a bad name in the media. 
That is just, that is so backstabbing. That's, that's pathetic. That's why we have to organize as individuals and put real elected officials in there. Otherwise, we it's a wrap for us. And we have to do it quick. Next, uh, same, excuse me, I'm staying on that same point, man. Dude named Rahm Emanuel out of Chicago. Remember that name, Rahm. This fool is so brazen with his words. And remember, you got to tone down the rhetoric. Ever since the Giffords incident, you know, but this cat is out there saying you never let a good crisis go to waste. Let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, you never let a, a serious crisis go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things you think you could not do before. Come on, man. Anyway, I'll let you chew on that. Tell me what you think. Whole purpose of uh, this is, you know, spark some conversation. I appreciate all of the, the comments that have uh, come through on some of the other videos. Thank you and keep them coming. Um, last but not least, oil. Now, we all know that the reason that oil is just people, uh, oil runs everything. I understand that, but there have to be some checks and balances and ethics with this business uh, but maybe that's too late to be <laughs> talking about that um, but oil this what it just holds more value than human life at this point that is that's obscene you know and for us not to bring these types of issues up to our elected officials you guess we are really are sheeple huh <laughs> and uh, by the way we will start drilling on American soil very very uh, soon probably in, in a year or so is what I'm thinking from information I've researched. A year, maybe two years at the most, you know, into 2012 or so, they're going to bust some of those those oil reserves up, you know. And don't even get on here and comment about the Gulf oil spill because that's meant to poison people. And if you don't know that, you're really behind. So you need to read up, look at that link that's uh, in my favorites. Um, my man down there talking about cleaning it up and what they told them they would do to them if... They didn't follow precise instructions. Check it out. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Peace, love, happiness. Uh, we'll see you on the flip side.